What's up, Weeboo gang? What's up? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Kank and Ashra. Episode 15 yeah. or season or part two, episode three. Three. Um, yeah. You want to tell them a little bit about what happened last episode? Last episode, we kind of had like that slowdown episode, but it was like a little bit of like more insight into Oma. We learned that he dreams eight matches a night. Yeah, which is like <laughs> the equivalent of 40,000 matches since he started. I think at like 14 or something. Yeah, since 14. And he got haunted in his dream by the one and only Nico. X Master. Yeah. Ooh. So there's a little symbolism right there with like how uh, kind of like Oma was fronting that, you know, he didn't really care about Nico's death. He just wants to be the strongest. Yeah. But you know, Nico keeps popping up in his dreams. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we kind of learned a little bit about like his demon mode. Uh, they call it like advanced. Yeah. And yeah. they say it takes a little bit out of you. So I don't know if it means like lifespan or like, I don't know. Like uh, they just said it's something that you shouldn't use all the time. And it's very deadly to your life, which is probably why he keeps like coughing up blood. Mm -hmm. So he did say it was like that, like it curse type of thing. Yeah, like something you shouldn't do yeah. to your body. But he also, we also found out that uh, Oma is, doesn't really use like the other half of like the Nico styles. Like he uses yeah. the flame kata and he mm -hmm. kind of, they said he sucks with the adamantine. And the water. Uh, yeah, like, no, what's the water and the wind or something? But he only uses like the fire one. Yeah, he uses like fire and then the <laughs> redirection kata. Um, I, can't, I can't remember what they are, guys. Help us, help us out in the help comments down below. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened last episode. Hopefully they're moving into another match. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who would be between, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> All right, ready, episode three. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is the episode we accidentally clicked on like oh, a long yeah. time ago. Yep. I'm right here. This guy's shirt must be like waterproof or something. Like, how much blood did he cough on him? It's like Terry cloth. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is coming up. Yeah. He's like super stoked to fight. He yells anywhere, anytime. <laughs> you want me to yell? I'll do it. <laughs> Damn, 194 though? That guy's jacked. Howling fighting spirit. Wow. What was his name? They like flashed it like really fast. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Skip intro. The Fisherman. あなたの思い切ったことをする。ヨロイズカサーパニーとカロヨシーディ。自分の手間同士を一回戦でぶつけるとは。幼鳥で大陸を温存させる作戦だよ。わざわざ幼鳥を死やすいルールに作り変えて
This dude like is scheming the whole time, man. Truly. <laughs> this dude looks cool. He looks like someone I want to go fishing with. <laughs> He knows all everything about it. Yeah, <laughs> like he looks like he like deep sea fishes in yeah. like the worst conditions, you know. <laughs> Holy shit! Six Oh, dude, yeah, it is just like a versus a giant. ふふふふ。サーファイルが勝つ。うん。この男君とインネンでもあるのか。不法になる。ね。随分と昔の話だ。ミャンマーとこっちで。いや、そうだね。<laughs> <laughs> ミャンマー国際公の格闘大会が開催されていた。俺も。<笑> あの頃から作るしいやつだった。試合は俺の優勢たちに終わって。格闘キャリアで唯一<笑><笑> <笑>さあ、始めようぜよっせ。ほんまに。よろしくしよう。いや、おつをやろう。流れの中でオタクのカロ君が体勢を崩す。そう言ってはるんでしたな。うん。まあ、あれはバカですから、やおとに気づくこと
です This is straight up offense. Flexible. Right? Oh! What? or anything. <laughs> like almost 400 pounds. Oh, you 
<laughs> what? So it like made his balance be unbalanced, which is balanced to him. Right? <laughs> Squeeze him in half, dude. <gasps> Ew, what the hell is that? Oh! Ew. Damn, is he paralyzed now? Mm. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. From that high up his spine? Yeah, he didn't even want to fight. All he wants to do is fish. Yes. 
It's so sad. It is sad. I just want to save this environment. <laughs> <laughs>。あの男は裏切り者になったくなと隠れます。ハロ君のことは yeah, that looks scary as hell. It's like way Jack mm -hmm. than Adam Dudley. <laughs> it's Disneyland. It's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised a little differently. the mascot and he's jacked as shit. Right? Oh man. What did you think of the episode? That was a... Okay. You good? Yeah. <laughs> I think that episode I would rate it probably like around a 7. 7? Yeah. It was like pretty decent. I'd give it like a 7 as well. Yeah. Why'd you give it a 7? I thought it was like kind of just like... I don't know, I, I felt like I was just watching it. Yeah. You know, like, it wasn't like super, like, it appealing to me as like a story, like a part of a like, huge story of it, but mm. I don't know. Was, yeah, the action yeah. animation was like really sick. Um, yeah. I liked the background story of the fisherman dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but um, yeah. kind of interested in this Mickey Mouse character. Yeah, who is it? <laughs> Honol Duck and, oh. Mi and Maki. <laughs> he like took off his mascot uniform and like jacked his head off. Ripped. Oh no! I feel like the dudes under the mascots or the girls like are really fit because they do all those like flips and stuff, you know? And it's hot. You gotta it's wear that hell, thing. Yep. It's like wearing a sweatsuit. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. I give this like a seven. You give it a seven? Yeah. Alright. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Um, check us out on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube. Yeah, check it out. We're probably watching some cool series that we're not watching on YouTube right now. Yeah. Because our lineup can only be so big. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. Believe it. No.
to be the next Hokage. <laughs> Come on, you pervy sage. Talking no jutsu. That's my ninja way.